Braiders, we have gotten an all new indicator to show you. And in fact, it's on the chart right here. This is the BB trend indicator, which is now available in your indicators, metrics and strategies menu. Go ahead and click technicals. We have indicators selected. We scroll down and we'll see BB trend with the new icon next to it. Now, as always, you can favorite this to always have it right here in your favorites menu. Or, of course, if you are looking to learn more about this indicator beyond this video, we've got this great tool tip. Click to open and you can read all about BB trend, including seeing the exact calculation. But of course, if you are familiar with PineScript, what's even better is you can actually click the source code icon here to get a look at the math behind this indicator. Now, if you are a master at Bollinger Bands already, which by the way, are one of the most popular indicators in markets, this indicator is for you. And if you're not, sit back and relax because you're gonna learn something new. So first of all, what exactly do these green bars and red bars mean? Well, first of all, this indicator is on a separate pane, which we can customize as we need. And in addition, it is intrinsically connected to the chart you're looking at right above, in this case, NVIDIA. And what you're going to notice about BB Trend is that it is a calculation of the existing Bollinger Bands, but displayed as a beautiful trend indicator that trend followers could use for anticipating when trends begin, anticipating when trends end, and getting ready to place trades, find turning points, and much more. Now, Bollinger Bands, which are now attached to our chart and which this indicator is based off of, are a mathematical concept or a statistical concept, whereby when you double click on Bollinger Bands, you have the ability to calculate a moving average, in this case, a 20 day moving average, daily chart, basis MA type, right here, simple moving average. This is a 20 day moving average, Standard deviation is two, and it's based off of the price close. So first of all, for those who have studied statistics in their life, Bollinger Bands are calculating not only a moving average, in this case, a 20-day moving average, the blue line is a 20-day moving average, but also the standard deviation away from that moving average, which means the red line up here is two standard deviations above this moving average. So it's quite an abnormal, interesting move. And the green line below here is two standard deviations below this moving average. So the Bollinger Band indicator is giving you a wonderful statistical concept. And if you don't know what standard deviations are or how they're calculated on a bell curve, to some degree, Statistics 101, just know that a standard deviation is sort of a way to think about the distribution of this event potentially happening. So two standard deviations is sort of somewhat rare, rare you could say, but three would be probably even more rare. Thus, you can see how the Bollinger Bands expand. Now, the BB trend indicator, though, is by default calculated with the standard deviations at two. And it's also calculated by default on a Bollinger Bands with a length of 20, but also where BB Trends Indicators gets its real impact and use is using two Bollinger Bands at once. So you can see what we're doing here is we have BB added here and BB added here. The difference is that one Bollinger Band is a length of 20, and then this Bollinger Band here is a length of 50. This means we have two different Bollinger Bands added on our chart. Now, why do we have these Bollinger Bands added on our chart? Well, that is what BB Trend is showing you. It is showing you the difference between two Bollinger Bands at once, which means you get a look at how price is performing relative to two calculated points in time for one of the most used indicators across all of markets. In this case, when we double click on the BB trend indicator, we can see that the short BB length or Bollinger Band length is 20, 20 days, in this case 20, but it could be any time period. The long BB length is 50 and the standard deviation is two. So hopefully by now this is starting to make sense to you. Whereas Bollinger Bands as an indicator on your chart shows you the moving average and the standard deviations, the BB trend is not only just calculating a 
regular Bollinger Band indicator, it's actually calculating what's happening between two Bollinger Band indicators on the chart at once like this. Now you can see how difficult this is to see here, right? That's We've got many different lines, six in total, two moving averages, an upper standard deviation, a lower standard deviation for two different time intervals, a 20 and also a 50. But this beautiful indicator condenses that all into one visual. Now, what you are seeing here is the difference between these two Bollinger Bands. When you see green bars, it means that the difference between the top lines here is less than the difference between the bottom lines here or the bottom standard deviation lines. The whole concept here is that in uptrends, you'll notice that the top lines of the two Bollinger Bands get closer and the bottom Bollinger Bands grow wider. Look at the area between the two standard deviation lines there. It is growing fairly massively, whereas in the uptrend, these are growing tighter and tighter. Thus, you get these green bars. So this is a way for you to not only spot trend, but to really see the difference in two Bollinger Bands being applied to the chart at once. Now let's head over to Tesla because Tesla has been in a downtrend and you can see the opposite. The previous chart was Nvidia. It's been in an uptrend. The top Bollinger Band lines are getting closer and closer. In this case, on a short 20 period Bollinger Band length and a long 50 Bollinger Band length. So Tesla has been in a downtrend and now look at the red bars. You can see the red bars here. And why is that? Well, it's fairly fascinating. Now, because the downtrend is existing, look at the area between these two Bollinger Band indicators. You could practically draw this in and fill it in, and it might take you some time that there's such a wide difference. Whereas as the Bollinger Bands are converging in the downtrend on these lower standard deviations, you can just see how much tighter and closer together the lines are, and thus it is printing right here this red trend as it's occurring. What's very interesting is now, as you can see, the Bollinger Bands for the short and long Bollinger Bands are converging, and now for the first time, we're starting to see some green. So it's gonna be very interesting to check back on this video in a few weeks or months, or if you watch this video a year or two from now, come back and check it out because maybe the trend is just starting to change and we can see that in these Bollinger Bands not only converging, but the fact that the top bands here are converging more so than the lower bands here. Now remember, this is the key thing. Bollinger Bands are a statistical indicator using standard deviations based off of the specific moving averages that you add and the length of their calculation. So it is just a world-class indicator in terms of their usage, understanding across markets. And if you need to learn more about Bollinger Bands, head to our Help Center, head to our YouTube channel. We've got so much information there for you, all free for all of our members and users. Give it a read and we hope you enjoy this new indicator.